my name is uh, Andrew Bonnet. I'm from Innovate Tax. We are an international tax automation firm. We have an office here in Dubai, but we are based out of the United Kingdom. One of the, uh, the big challenges that we are finding uh, with, with the companies that we work for, and, and we work with companies like the Emirates Airlines Group and also uh, Saudi Telecom, for example. So these, these are obviously big, big companies. But the, the problems that they face also trans, uh, translate to smaller companies. And one of these big issues is how do you handle advanced payments? So at the moment, you may say to a, a, a customer, please give us some money before we start the project. And then you'll do the work and then later on you'll send them an invoice, maybe two or three months later, and then they'll pay the remaining balance. Uh, and then that, that prepayment they've paid will come off that invoice. Now the problem is that from a tax perspective, the laws that are designed to stop that fraud, in, in effect, are therefore um, required to ensure that you charge the VAT either based on when you send the invoice or when you provide the services or goods, or in this particular case, when you receive payment. So if you were to send a, 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 or ask for a payment of say 10% of the project, then you would need to allocate tax to that payment. And that can be very difficult because at the time you're asking your customer for the money, but you cannot say there's gonna be VAT on it that they can recover because you haven't sent in the invoice yet for the work. So this is very important. Um, so you may need to change the way that you ask for advance payments um, or um, create some sort of process that allows you to be, make an adjustment to your tax return to say that, hey, I've, I've received um, an amount of, a, of 105 from, uh, as an advance payment. There's five tax that I'm recognizing at this point. Now, when you then create your actual invoice, and let's just say, um, argument sake, the invoice is for 210 or 200 plus the 10 VAT, you will have charged the correct VAT on that invoice, which is the 10. So you, you now have the ability to reverse the VAT that you charged uh, on the prepayment. So you would then make an adjustment to reverse out that tax on the prepayment. So this is something that now becomes actually quite confusing for what was a very, very simple process uh, previously. And we do urge companies to look into this in a little bit more uh, um, detail and potentially you know, get advice from an accountant in this aspect if you are asking for money up front from any of your customers. And how do you deal with that? One simple uh, situation now is that you simply ask for the money by giving an invoice that has the VAT on it. So it is no longer um, asking for money you're now actually sending them an invoice for an advance payment. Slightly different process, but by doing it that way, you're legal.